So there was a season in my life that um, I couldn't even pray for two minutes. I was out of, I, I didn't have the words to pray. Uh, and um, I'm able to talk to my friends and all of that, but I didn't have the words to pray. And this is how I overcame um, the spirit of prayerlessness. And anytime that before I realize I'm sleeping, like reading the word, um, you start reading it, you can't understand it. And before you realize you're already sleeping, there's a spirit that does not want us to pray. There's a spirit that does not want us to read, know the word of God, meditate on the word of God. So we ought to um, find ways, pray for the strength of the Holy Spirit to strengthen us. And that's how I overcame the spirit of prayerlessness. Um, for me, I, I did go for prayer meetings. And um, these prayer meetings, I need, knew I had to pray because I was having certain dreams, certain things were happening in my life that I knew only God could help me. So I knew there was a need for me to pray, but I just wasn't good at it. So you, I would go to these prayer meetings and um, people kept praying and praying and praying. And you, before you realize, you're just there watching what other people are doing. Because you, you're out of words. You're like, what are these people saying? Some people were speaking in tongues. And it seemed like they were repeating the same sound over and over and over again. But I still stuck to going to these prayer meetings. Even though I couldn't pray. And like, let's say if the one lead in the prayer meeting will speak up, um, pray about a certain topic. And I realized that um, the, that prayer topic was a prayer topic I shared with the leader. I would just more or less repeat what the person said and make it my own. And um, there was a time too, I got an accountability partner. And we know that um, faith comes by hearing the word. So as we hear the word, um, our faith increases. So as we, um, even with ordinary thing, the repetition, repetition, we learn by repetition, we learn by practice. But I still could not pray, but I kept praying for the spirit of um, prayer the, to be able to pray. And one thing that, um, that affected me was that I thought I had to be eloquent because those who were praying, I didn't want anybody to call upon me to pray because like I, I felt I wasn't going to be able to be as eloquent as the other people praying. You do not need to be eloquent while you are praying. You just have to be honest. That's what God is looking for. He, he's looking for honesty. He's not looking for showmanship. So all we have to do is to be honest. God already knows what we are going through. God only knows what we are thinking, but he wants us to be honest. And um, the word of God says that we have not because we ask not. So we all have to ask. It, no prayer request is too small or pray, no prayer request is too useless. And this was one thing that um, I, I had in the beginning that there were some topics I could not pray about. Because people are dealing with cancer, terminal diseases, and dealing with big issues. So there were some prayer topics I did not feel comfortable praying about. But God wants us to come with all uh, problems. No prayer topic is too small, or no prayer topic is too useless, or no prayer topic is too unimportant. God wants to bring all our concerns to him. Whatever it is. If even it's a sin that you are in that you want to overcome, but you have not yet overcome, tell God, be honest with God, that God, I'm still in this. I want to walk away from it, but I haven't gotten the strength to. So give me the Holy Spirit to be able to overcome the shortcoming. And um, we do not need to focus on time when we are praying. Before you realize that you have prayed for hours, if you are honest and you are praying about all the things that you want to pray about, we need to be, we do not need to pray amiss. We need to be specific with what we want from God. And we also need to um, pray using um, scriptures. So for me, what I do is that I research the topic. Let's say if I want to pray for um, increase in faith, for example, I'll just Google or I'll look for um, articles which they are talking about um, faith and look for the um, scriptures. Read them and see if it aligns with what I'm praying for and stand on those scriptures. Because like the word of God is a sword of the spirit. So we want to pray standing on the word of God. So we need to do research and have scriptures and stand on those prayers. So um, for me, finding an accountability partner 
praying with a prayer group, sticking to it even though I could not pray as long as the other people were praying, and just being honest with what I wanted from God, being honest with what my present situation was, being angry, uh, honest with my feelings with God. The more I stuck to it, I increased in my prayer. But I know that the accountability partner helps me a lot. So right now I have this um, thing I do on YouTube where whoever wants to join, join and we all pray. That in itself has helped me a great deal. Because even though I don't know whoever is on the other end, it's almost like I have an accountability partner. I need to stand and pray. I have a commitment I have to um, stick to. The more we do it, the more we hear other people pray, we will also increase in our prayer. What God is looking for us, from us is honesty, not length of time, not eloquence, not mastery of the um, scripture. He's looking for honesty from us. He's looking to have an intimate relationship with us. If I am overcome the spirit of prayerlessness, you can do it too. We got to keep praying for God to fill us with the spirit of prayer. The time to pray is now. Jesus prayed all the time and he was the son of God. And if Jesus prayed all the time and he is the son of God, what does that tell you? You got to pray. So I thank God that we are going to pray and we're going to pray like never before. In any spirit of laziness that the enemy will try to bring upon us, in any spirit of heaviness, that the enemy will try to bring upon us. They are counseled and they are consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we will pray like never before. Because God is waiting for us to pray like never before. COVID has taught us that. We can plan all we want. We can be wise all we want. We can be intellectually good. We can be intelligent all we want. I'm not even finding the words. But... We are in a spiritual realm and our warfare is not carnal. So we ought to fight from a spiritual perspective and we got to pray more. I thank God that you and I will pray more. I thank God that we will raise an altar of prayer for God. I thank God that we will sacrifice, give God a sacrifice of our prayers, praise and thanksgiving. And we are overcomers. We are completionists. In Jesus' name, amen.